Hello, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. This is Amanda with Crafting with Amanda. And today we are going to look at cards five and six from the Craft with Heart subscription from May to August 2020. And I'm right now I'm just pulling out the pieces that you need for card five. It has a bright polka dot background and then all the pieces come in these cards and they're well labeled of the section that's blocked out goes with this card and the next section goes with another card so it's kind of nice. So I punched all those out and I'm putting half of them away because later on I hope to make some videos where I've kicked it up even more not just used minimal materials to enhance these cards but went ahead and, and did some Cricut cuts or got out some more tools and more resources so just to give some options for some people for creating cards. I forgot to punt the sentiment, so <laughs> I dug the sheet back out of the trash. Thankfully, I hadn't folded them at that point. And now I'm just dry fitting all the components to see what layout I might like. I start with what Close to My Heart suggests with their instructions, as you saw, and then I play with it to see what works for me and what I am in the mood to do or how I want to use the card. I'm in need of a lot of birthday cards right now, so... I think these fun polka dots works perfectly for me. And I had included in this challenge of myself to only use a little bit of black cardstock scrap, the shimmer brushes, and then just some tools, uh, dry embossing tools, scissors, those kind of things, um, to see what I could, how I could enhance the card or basically make them fit my need and also give some ideas for other people to use. And I don't normally use a metal nail file to, to um, file off the little bits of paper from where it was die punched, but uh, my normal sanding tool got legs and walked away into my teenager's room. So I have since retrieved that, but at the time I could not find it. But as you saw, the nail file worked fine. So I seasoned the stamp on the inside of my wrist so that it will have a clear image. And then I'm using the foam that comes with the stamp set just to give some relief to make a nice clear image. Close to my heart has some of the best, if not the best acrylic stamps on the market for quality and clarity. Um, but just that little bit of foam guarantees a better image. So I'm gluing this down so that I can have the spacing to go ahead and do the ribbon ends on both sides and keep the black border all the way around. And this day I was really struggling with doing these ends. Normally I don't have a problem, but this particular day I did. I didn't include at the start of this video kind of the tools that I used. If you go back and look at video for cards three and four, I have a screenshot that shows all the tools that I used and um, I will put a link in the description of this video for you to find that easier. I inked the edges of that black cardstock uh, because Close to My Heart's cardstock has a white core which is wonderful. It gives you a lot of versatility for doing different techniques, but I didn't want to see it. I wanted it to be a little more rich and so I inked the edges of the black. Now I'm cutting little ends in the small strip of paper, lining that up on the card. Oh, there's a little piece of black scrap. I think that'll work too. And you'll see that I'll cut ribbon end in that end as well, that little piece as well. And it just gives a balance between the black behind the sentiment and my little cluster of banners or pendants at the top of the page. And then just kind of play with it. You can see I'm adjusting how long or, or short it's going to end up on the card. And here I'm grabbing the foam pop dots from the center of the shaker and acetate supplies that come with the kit. And I'm inking up the edges of the hexagon just again to give it a little more depth and make it stand out. It didn't quite go as, as dark as I wanted, so I did that again, and now you can see it even a little better. 
It just gives it more visual interest, almost like a mat, but without having to cut a mat the exact shapes. Glue that down. I'm going to adhere the sentiment. I love the fact that the foam tape squares comes with the acetate and shaker card adhesive that it's just in the center and you use it, it's all in the kit. I just think that's fantastic. So I'm cutting those to length now. I'm going to guess because I want to ink the edge of the black one, but I might have forgotten to do that. So on your own you might want to ink the edges of your black cardstock just so that there's uniformity in your card. And it looks like I did forget. So now I'm going to adhere my little banners. And I love this Tombow liquid adhesive. It gives you some wiggle room before it dries, but once it dries, it's welded to the thing. Oh, I did remember to ink my edges. Yay me. <laughs> and just to get the little center point, I use the black shimmer brush. You can use any kind of black marker to do that. I just happen to have the shimmer brush right there next to me, so that's what I used. And I decided this card needs something more. So, I'm just adding some dots of the black shimmer brush and at first I was just going to do little dots but then I decided to kind of make them match the size that was already on the card in the different colors. In hindsight I think I might have taken a punched circle and and used it kind of as a oh I can't a template to, to circle through. The circles didn't turn out quite as precise as I would have liked them. So in hindsight, I think I would have just taken a piece of scrap cardstock, punched a hole, and then colored my circles through that punched hole. As far as brightness and, and all, it's amazing. It really adds a lot of shine. Now I'm going to go on to card six, and you'll see here on card six, I do the normal setup, punch out my shapes, split them between the two, and then I dry fit to see what I like and what's going to work for me. And then, unbeknownst to me, my camera sh cuts off. So I will show you the card at the end and what I did um, to make the card nicer is I dry embossed the flowers with the stylus, the dry embossing stylus and um, did that to the leaves and everything and just gives it a little more dimension. I also used some foam tape on it. So I think here it's going to cut over and now you can see the final card and you can see how I stamped the image on it. I did some shimmer splotches by taking my shimmer brush and, and hitting it on my dry embossing to get kind of splatters on the front of my card. I need birthday cards so again this is a happy birthday you rock and that's what happened to that card. Check back I should have the rest of the cards 7 through 12 done soon. Have a great day.